What's up guys, Sam from Press Start. I'm here today with Andy and Jess. Um, they were lucky enough to get a hold of the new game called Dear God by Crescent Moon Games and uh, give it a try before it was released. So I wanna to talk to them a little bit. So what is Dear God? Well, so the story of the game, which is really weird, it's kind of like Brother Bear, honestly, is the best way could put it, where you're one of two hunters. Um, you're out, it's late at night and it's raining. Your buddy's like, I'm gonna go to bed. And you're like, fine, I'm gonna keep shooting deer because I'm a redneck hunter. Whew! Um, and then you find this deer and it's very weird looking like it's got a black, like, thing to it has like some very interesting like patterns on it so again you're not sure what's up with it but you're like okay it's just you're gonna shoot it you shoot it it's a thunderstorm the storm hits and you accidentally shoot the deer's young child and you so die so it's the opposite of bambi a little it's the opposite of bambi actually kind of yeah way, yeah way to put it um but then you are brought before this apparent deer god and it goes look you killed my kid, so before you can go to heaven, you need to atone for what you've done, and you become a deer. So what's the gameplay like, Jess? Um, it's, at first it's really cool, and then it gets to be really irritating sometimes. Why? <laughs> <laughs> because it, you can't, like, it's really pretty, but then you can't tell where you're jumping because it's really kind of mountainous. So you're not sure if you're jumping on the low level or like the higher one. So you can just... So just it's a side-scrolling? It's yes. a side-scrolling platform with okay. some action bits to it. Yep, yep. Yeah. What kind of action bits? Like, you have... How much, how much action can you have as a deer? <laughs> like, can you so change your prancing you're style? Not like, you're not like a regular deer. You have like... <laughs> whoa. whoa. Yeah, no, it's super fancy. Um, you're not like a regular deer. You have this ability to like... It's kind of like a dash attack thing you do, and you just kind of like dash back and forth with the enemies. But you can also acquire like magical items, use like fireballs and things like that. At least you're supposed to be able to, because the biggest issue with the game is how very unclear certain things are. For instance, you find these statues that are like tributes to the deer god or whatever, and you perform a certain puzzle and it'll light up and it'll say, hey, here's a fireball, put it between number one and six on your keyboard and press shift to use it. I went through that like five times, I wasn't able to get anything. The whole issue with the yep. game is that it's very, very unclear with what to do. It's a very open world, it's procedurally generated, it's gorgeous and looks great, but you'll just keep going through and things just kind of happen. And it never feels like it flows. So how is the story told? <clears throat> it's kind of a mix of <laughs> what little story there is. Either there's voiceover or there's just text you read. That's really about it. Like, yeah. the world as beautiful as it is doesn't really tell a story. It just kind of goes through locations. But there's not much more to it than you need to atone. Go have an adventure, I guess. And that's about it. Is there a definitive ending to it? What? No, I... Yeah, honestly, no like, you just sort of keep on going. And the game doesn't necessarily, like, repeat the world, but, like, it keeps adding things onto it. It's really impressive, kind of, how it procedurally generates it and makes it all look very unique and beautiful and how these little different environmental factors and enemies and all this stuff. It's really well done. It's just, I don't know, it just sort of keeps on... It gets bland after it a while? It gets kind of bland after a while, yeah. So of all the aspects, Jess, what would you say your favorite aspect of it was? That's hard. Uh... <laughs> More of a pessimist than I am. <laughs> I don't know. Just, I guess... Just to look at it, I guess, is the best part. Like, I'd rather just watch somebody else play it and be frustrated instead of actually playing it, I guess. I mean, definitely, like, from a visual standpoint, it's got a very unique style. I wish the game was on the 3DS because it makes a great use of, like, foreground, background, and, like, what's in the way of the foreground, which is really interesting. Um, I mean, for the most part. Sometimes it becomes annoying where it obscures enemies or objects, and that can really lead to a bunch of unnecessary deaths. But um, it's be visually beautiful and has this really interesting soundtrack. Like, it's a very 8-bit looking game, yet its soundtrack is like a weird mix of like jazz and like synth electronic and it's very... Does it work? Kind of, yeah. Like, there are points where like if you stop moving for a little bit, the game will just sort of zoom in on the deer and you can just like see it like go through idle animations. And watching that, like in certain environments where it's raining, storming or snowy area or what have you at night and like the music in the background, it's a very interesting visual experience. Like, I definitely think I spend more time thinking about it after I play the game, 
than when I do actually when play. When the frustration's it. been put aside. When, yeah. when the just okay gameplay is put aside. Definitely. So of all the things that clearly Jess isn't a huge fan of, <laughs> mm -hmm. most frustrating aspect of it, would it be controls, would it be the story or lack of, what would it be for you? Probably the controls. Like, I mean, I can play a game that doesn't have that much of a story, but if the controls are horrible, then I'm not. It's, it's just no fun. Is it all. clunky controls, or is it just doesn't make sense because there's no, like, guidance there? Just the, the no guidance, really. I don't miss that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, Least favorite aspect? Least favorite aspect? Yeah. I guess how unclear it is. Like, control-wise, I didn't have that much of an issue at times. Like, it all performs pretty well. It's very simple, just... Move left, right, you can jump, you can use attacks, that's about it, all I could do. But like, you never know what exactly to do. You keep going forward, no new objectives come up, no new prompts of like, hey, you can do this here, or whatever, unless it's stuff that you already know. Um, there's friendly AI to help you, because like different gear you find along the path can help you, but they all have like terrible AI where they can't know to jump over certain items, or they'll just throw themselves in enemies and get themselves <laughs> killed, or the game is a really interesting system where you have one life, but you can either, in hard to reach areas, find like revives, or if you find a female deer because you're a male deer, you can mate and create like a young deer to serve as like a respawn checkpoint. It's an interesting system. Deer porn. <laughs> Just close. It's like a little filling heart. Like, <laughs> But like, the biggest issue with that is that your friendly deer AI loves to get itself killed, where like, let's say there's, I'm going forward, there's a pit of spikes, I stop. The deer's like slides, like it's on ice, even if you're in like in a forest environment or whatever, and it'll just keep going, 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 and then like go, oh wait, I should jump over and not do this, but like try and come back to you and it'll kill itself. That happened to me like five times yeah, in a row. So really it sad. kind of feels more like a beta than a finish. It's, a ve it's very much a beta. There were a lot of, I don't know if it was a glitch, but like unclear things that should be more clearly displayed. There was one point where I died and, it, and the game was like, hey, I'm gonna punish you. And it turned me into like an enemy that couldn't jump in a platformer, so I was yep. just stuck as like a porcupine. For like, at, I have a whole save where I'm just stuck as a porcupine, and there's this meter that keeps refilling, but then it will stop and will refill again, and it doesn't tell me what to do at all. So it just kind of stuck, and the game feels very unfinished. So then, tr so if we're gonna bring it down to a recommendation level, okay? buy it, try it, try it. I'll let you go. Try it for maybe like, two hours at the most, and then you'll probably not want to play it anymore in your lesson. I mean, I guess the best thing about it is that it's on Steam, so eventually it's gonna go on sale. So at that point, I'd definitely say try it. How much is it right now on Steam? About seven bucks, I said. Okay. Um, but like, right now, you know, I don't think it's worth it, honestly, because it's not a finished game, and like, it's an interesting distraction. It's visually gorgeous. Like, I recommend the soundtrack and the screenshots and trailers more than the actual game experience, but if it gets lower, definitely try it. All right. So then, if anyone is interested, um, maybe go on Steam anywhere else. Possibly, you can check out Dear God by Crescent Moon Games. Thank you guys.